Greetings from Nods Gamer and a rather anxious Kevin. I don't know what he's doing. Um, he's rather excited and yes, I'm rather excited too because we've come back to see the Amiga for a third time and this time, instead of just cleaning it and making sure the thing will survive, we're going to stuff an upgrade up its nose and see if we can't make some of these old 3D games a little more bearable in the modern age. So without further ado, let's whip the top off and see what we can put inside. Okay, so let's just investigate how the cleanup's faring because we've it's been left for about a week now. So you can see the aftermath of last time. Everything should be nice and clean now. Gary looks happy in there, no corrosion present whatsoever. All of the other corrosion was scraped away. Luckily it had not gone too far. And I managed to nip it in the bud. Nothing seems to be out of place anymore. So let's stick an upgrade somewhere in the side of this Amiga. I found a little tiny crafty bit hiding on this capacitor leg here. See a little bit of green powder? Yeah, shit kid. So a little bit made it onto the solder over here and I missed it. Sorry about the blurb, it's really hard to get this in shot. So I've just got to get rid of that bit of corrosion that was on there. You see, it was just around the solder there. This powder that's come away. So I'm just gonna have to sort this bit out real quick. Sorry about the shaky vision, man. I'm having to hold the camera. It's actually helping me use it. It's a nice zoom um, to scratch this off. I'm just gonna dip a bit of vinegar on, leave that. I may just have a close inspection everywhere to make sure that I didn't miss any, as it was the tiniest of spots on the leg of that cap, but it needs getting rid of everywhere. So I'm gonna have a quick go over, just to see if anything needs doing before we move on. I can tell everything else seems to be fine, so we're just going to get that cleaned up. Just want to check to make sure nothing is reacting anymore to the acid. Call it me just being um, super cautious. So I'm just going to leave that a minute, make sure nothing bubbles. Just put some isopropyl on there. See, I brought a little bit away there. Just to be sure there was nothing under it and it was, it was fine. But you can never be too careful. But yeah. Just neutralise all that. Then you've got just used again. as that's where we've just cleaned. And just a bit more on you. So everything's looking a lot better here now. I'm just getting a little carried away with the alcohol again because I don't want to uh, leave any of that nasty vinegar behind. So just another quick one. 
So now all the preparation is done, we're going to open my first upgrade and we're going to be putting in this Amiga. I've got a terrible fire turbo board uh, with a 6830 on, which we're going to replace the 6800 with. And a compact flash slot, so I can pop that in and run some stuff from there. So let's put this to one side for a moment because we've got processor to remove. I've never done one this big before, so let's have a look. See what we can do. Ooh. So I don't think this card is going to fit with just plugging it in. I might need the spacer. So we've got to connect these two together first because that looks like it'd be a lot more difficult to do once it's on the board. Make sure that's located correctly. It should just be a case of pushing it in. Looks like a nice snug fit on the motherboard. Hopefully that's not going to be in the way once the keyboard's back in. Let's just see if it's touching any components on the inside. As you can see it clears that capacitor that's standing up. That did worry me. That looks like that's slotted in nicely. Going to reassemble this and see what we've got. So we've got that all back together. It looks soon seems to fit in the case all right. I won't be able to get the shielding back over here as it touches the card and the card reader, so I don't want anything shorting out. So unfortunately, I'm going to have to do away with that, or I'm going to have to cut out a section. I'm not sure what I want to do with that just yet. But let's see what uh, what we get when we switch this on now. But just before I put everything back in, it does look like this board may be touching some of the chips. So I'm going to slip a bit of card underneath, just like that, just to stop it touching. Um, it may be nothing, but I'm not interfering with any chips at the moment, just while I'm testing it out. So that will do. Let's get the rest of it back in. I won't be able to use the RF shielding as it interferes with this as well. So I'm just hoping we don't get any interference with the boards nearly touching at the bottom there. Very close. Right, so all that's in. Nice and secure. Plug it in and see what it does. One more little surprise this time is I have a SCART lead for this Amiga now. Not that I don't want to use the monitor, but at least I can capture some footage. So let's put some games, put this back together. Put some games in it and see what we can do.
Okay, so after a quick overheat, I've had to just rise it up a little bit because it looked like it was sitting on the Agnes chip. So I popped a little bit of plastic peg in there, which is part of the original Amiga case because what I've also done is just chop the grills back a little bit more to let it vent because this card seems to get quite hot. But needs must unfortunately but hopefully that just rising that up a little bit is going to stop it from interfering with the board we'll see so it looks like we've come to an end again for the amiga this time around we've installed the terrible fire 68030 in there and removed the old 68000 processor got it right this time sorry guys for early in the video when i didn't but what an improvement it's made Frontier looks brilliant. A lot of the old 3D games that I played as a slideshow as a child just wanting to enjoy and are now finally playable. So I'm going to have a lot of fun with the Amiga in a way that I didn't think I ever would. Um, it's been a lot of fun so far, this project. Just playing games this time around was a lot of fun. There's more stuff to come in the pipeline. I've got more upgrades um, sitting there just ready and waiting for a, to get stuffed in that machine. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to leave you with a little bit of Frontier 2. I'm going to go away and just play with this Amiga because I need to get Workbench installed on that flashcard to have a lot of fun with it. So I do hope you've enjoyed watching it this time around. If you haven't already, please give me a like and a sub. Ring that bell if you want notifying and share it around so people can see. I've been Knots Gamer. This has been my Amiga 500 Plus Upgrade Part 3. Thanks for watching guys. Take care and see you next time.